order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with service now this is our new series of training that is service now service catalog training let's learn service now request management I got so many users who are asking if I can post some videos around service catalog and workflows so I thought let's create a new session a new training specifically for service catalog where we will understand the whole service now request management architecture and how exactly it works how, how exactly user sees user submit the request how you process those requests how exactly you you can develop different re uh, request form for the users so before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this particular session, we are going to talk about Service Catalog Overview. So this is our first session of this training. What are we going to learn? In this session, we are going to learn about what is service catalog, service catalog application and module, service catalog request management architecture. What is service catalog? Service catalog is, is a catalog to provide users with self-service options. It's a portal where users can request different services provided by different business unit in the organizations or if you are providing some services to the external customers in that case you can also create your service catalog it is used to support request management so just to uh, explain you the why exactly service now came up with service catalog now if you have seen amazon or flipkart or, or other e-commerce websites where you see the different catalogs and different options or different products you want to request for it is kind of a similar so if you are working in any any organization and your organization is providing different services maybe for internal employees as well for example hr onboarding you want some you, you want your laptop you want your mouse for all these things if I talk about if you do not have this kind of request management portal or a place or a platform then you have to walk in and then request for your laptop your mobile or your uh, mouse or, or different devices or you want to request leave or different services in that case service catalog is a way where you can submit requests for different services provided in your organization now it depends on your organization that what kind of services they have onboarded in this service catalog and that's the reason the name is service catalog a catalog which provides the the view of all the services and you can request for those services so the native ui and the default ui now this is the example of service now service catalog and this is about native ui that means the default ui we have in service now looks like this so if your employees if you're working in any organization and if you don't have any portal then employees will see this service catalog like this and they can submit different services like hardware software desktops at the right in the right hand side you can see you have some top request as well now similar kind of service catalog you can see on portal ui so recently if you remember service now came up with service portal not exactly recently but it's just about i would say really famous in last two and three years so they came up with this portal ui and the UI is quite different, is very uh, really customer centric and user friendly. So this is similar what we saw in native UI, but this is just the advanced UI. Services are similar, so you can mention whatever services you want. That's only the difference. But if you want to put whatever services you have in native UI, you can also make them visible here as well. 
So this is all about service catalog that you can submit different services. You can request different services. You can request for a laptop. You can request for a uh, iPhone. You can request for a mobile. You can request for any uh, different services. For example, facility services or if you want some software installation, you can do everything if they are onboarded in your service catalog. Service catalog application. Specifically for service catalog, ServiceNow has a different application menu that is service catalog that is specifically designed and developed so that you can administer service catalog and request management in service now so let's take an example how exactly this service catalog application and modules looks like in service now so i will just give you a walkthrough of service catalog application and modules in service now so let's go to my personal developer instance. This is my personal developer instance. In the left hand side in the application navigator, you can see we have this application menu service catalog. Now here you can design the catalog for your company. You can see different requests you are getting for service catalog. You can design them. You can uh, create the flows. Everything will be right here. Now, if I start with catalogs, the first module I have is catalogs. And if I click here, this will show me that how many catalog I have. So as of now, I can see, now you can add more catalog, but if I talk about out of the box, you will see service catalog and technical catalog. If I click on service catalog, you will see all the services provided in service catalog. And if I will click on technical, then you might see some other services. Depends on the what kind of catalog you have selected for those particular services. And if I click on next module, that is just catalog. Now this will show you the default catalog you have. So if in your organization you have selected a catalog, that will show up here. So that's a service catalog. So whatever catalog you have, it will be shown here with the categories. So it says, for example, hardware, it says services, uh, software. If I click here, it will show me all the software services my organization is giving. So this is just an example, just a demo which we are getting out of the box. Then we have a section called open records. And if I will click here, I will see three different kind of records. Those are request, item, and then we have task. Now, what exactly they are, request, items, and task, we will talk about it later because I will tell you the complete architecture of request management in service catalog. Then we have catalog definitions. Now, this is the part where you will start designing the catalog or uh, service catalog items. So as you can see, it says my catalogs. So if I click on my catalogs, it will show me where I am the editor. You can see the manager is system editor or editor contains system editor. Then we have my categories. Now the definitions I will tell you in my later videos because this is just an overview. So you will not be able to understand everything in just video because I will explain each and everything that what exactly the catalog is, what are the categories, what are the items, all these modules which you are seeing here, I will explain you what exactly, what are the uh, goal of those modules, why ServiceNow has created and what is the utilization of those modules or tables. Then we have my items. Then we have maintain catalogs. So you can maintain the catalogs here. We have two right now. You can create another catalog as well. Then we have maintain categories. Here you can create multiple categories, as I mentioned, like hardware, software, office services, desktop, different services or different. So whatever uh, like higher services you have, like high level services, you can tell them as uh, categories. Then we have renders. So these are all catalog renders. That means what all things you, you, you want to render for catalog. 
that is what you can get in renderers then we have maintain dynamic categories you can see we have like top request dynamic categories means if you saw when i when i was showing you that catalog in right hand section you had top request top request is something where most of the requests are being submitted by different users that you can show that means that is dynamic that is not static in that case you can also create those categories as well then we have maintain items now these are the different items which you can create like services for example access installation or uh, ipad 3 these are services which you are providing to the end users the customers so that they can request for these items then we have my content items this is specifically which i have created like catalogs contains my items that's what it will show then i have my content items so whatever items i have created those will be here and then i have uh, content items content items are like change password company portal company policies these are all related to the for example a content that is what you will get in it is similar to knowledge article that is what any content which is uh, required for your service catalog that you can show via content items and as i mentioned i will explain you each and every module and table which is utilized in service catalog then i have order item links then order guides you can see my order guides and again order guide then racket producer so these are different functionalities under service catalog then I have user criteria, maintain layout. And I think it would be better rather than showing you all the modules right now, it would be better that if I show you details about these tables and sections and features, then you will be able to understand better in the future that what are the use case or what are the utilization of these modules what data should they are showing so that you can understand better so in that case i will switch to my next topic rather than explaining you the complete scenario complete details about modules because this will not help you right now but once you will be under you will understand everything about that what are these tables then you'll be able to relate that why exactly you have these modules under service catalog so the next point is request management architecture so this is the request management architecture so the important point is as as i told you service catalog is a request management module where user can request for different items and their request will be processed which will be assigned to different teams so as part of the request management architecture if you are an end user and if you are requesting a service so that will create a request so let's take an example of amazon when you go on amazon.com you have multiple products there's a there's an option where you can add those products in your cart so you add different products like two products add them in the cart they got added and then you click on checkout and then you pay them now what happens at the back end so let me take the similar scenario so that you can understand better so as an end user you submitted that request which had two items so in this case your this time when you are clicking on checkout this will become one request for you that means this was the first request it will generate a number request whatever number naming and and the prefix of numbering is quite different that i will show you later in my later videos that means the racket numbers so it will create a request with some number once you have submitted now you have added two items so both the two items might have different kind of process one might be from different seller one might be from different seller so in that case you cannot club both the items in one request because one might be needed for example uh, uh, free installation at your home 
so in that case you will segregate those request items so you requested two products they will create two request item numbers so two request item records will be generated which will follow different workflow now in order to complete those orders for two products there will be some task which we assign to different teams maybe the logistic team maybe the processing team maybe the team who is acknowledging the order so there might be multiple teams and then it, they are delivering the product to you and it's not something that both the both the workflow they will work parallelly like they will work parallelly but it's not something they will be uh, they will be working simul simultaneously at the same time that the the stage is will not be the same because that can be different so one product you might get it in three days another might get completed in one day depends on the kind of workflow and that's the reason for each request item we have different catalog task and that's how this complete architecture works in service catalog and that's the reason we have mentioned as request management architecture then one user request for an item or two items that becomes a request whatever items he adds in that request those become request items and whatever tasks are being assigned for those request items they become catalog task now as people will be working on those tasks and they will close completing those tasks and another task will keep on generating depend on the kind of workflow you have so for example if you have dependency in a hierarchical level then you will definitely create next task once first is completed that's what you will do but if you want five people or five teams to work parallelly then you will create five tasks depends the kind of structure the kind of process flow you have in your system so this is overall about service catalog service catalog request management architecture so thanks for watching my video have a great day